Allen Jr. receiving a standing ovation here. Here's another drive. Deep down oh the line, goodness. he crushed another one. Up into the billboard for another three-run homer. That's sick. He's driven in eight runs today. His third home run of the afternoon. Goodness gracious, Mookie yeah. Betts. What a day. Doesn't get any better than that. Four for four, three home runs, eight RBIs. Every time he touches one off, it's a no-doubter. Line drive left field. That's it. Number 1,000 for Jose Altuve. And he's going to aim on the brakes and get back to first. 1,000 hits with number three tonight. Fastest Astro ever to 1,000. Now the 2-2. Two -two. A swing and a pop-up. Perez, Santana, Santana makes the catch. Ball game. The Indians have won the American League pennant. And Cleveland, for the sixth time ever, you will have a World Series. The Indians are the champions of the American League. Drake delivers as a drive to right field, hit deep, back by the bullpen. MLB Network's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Tonight, the opener of a three-game series between the L.A. Dodgers and the New York Mets. Two great hitters lead their teams to battle next on MLB Network. Seth Lugo will be on the mound for the series opener. What do we need to know here, H.R.? When I look at this game, I look at one number that just jumped out at me. Over 300. Left-handers are hitting over 300. So if he wants to win this game, he's got to get those left-handers out. That will be where my attention is and see if he's able to execute in this game. And now as Yasiel Puig comes off an 0 for 4 in last night's ball game. Ready with the 3 and 0. Takes a fastball on the inside corner. HR, these Mets as they enter play here tonight. They come in trying to rebound after a loss that snapped a modest three-game winning streak. Yeah, Matt, I love these games. Two first-place teams. I mean, you know you're going to get good baseball. You know they're going to be competitive, and they're looking across each other. What I really want to watch are the managers. Who makes the critical move at the critical time? Well, he got what he's looking for. He just got out in front of it right there. Now a swing and a ball lofted down the right field line and fairly deep. Conforto is back, and he reaches up to put it away for a long out number one. A chance now for the Los Angeles Dodgers starting lineup. What's the key for them to win this series opener, Harold? Well, the key to me in this one, I'm going to throw a cliche at you, Matt. You know I don't use many cliches. I would have to say have great energy. Play with some enthusiasm. Be excited about playing. And if they do that, man, they carry it through for nine innings. Look out. Here's Jock Peterson now. And the home away splits tell us he's actually quite a bit better hitting on the road than he is at home. One out, nobody on. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right and up into the crowd. There's a high foul ball as it finds a lucky fan in the upper deck for a souvenir. He's set. Here's the three and two. Ripped on the ground to first. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. That's a tremendous at bat. Saw a bunch of pitches. Got saw basically everything Touch he throws. And then got Corey a base hit to right field. Seager. Can't ride it any better. Stepping in now, Corey Seager. Oh, and he shoots this back into center field for a base hit. Matt, I love this offense, and they're deep. Now, they got the leadoff guy out, but then all of a sudden, the two-hitter and the three-hitter get hits, and before Justin you know it, you're in trouble. Turner. Into the box, Justin Turner. Off-speed pitch, good for strike two. 
Well, that changeup right there sets up a lot of things. Now the count's two and two. He can come back in with the fastball, and it's going to look like it's moving a little bit better. Or he can go back to that changeup. And this is sent out to Reyes. This could be two. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So a couple of hits here in the top half, but nothing comes of it. And now the Mets offense will go to work for the first time. No score. Julio Arias gets the call for game one of the series. What's your take on him, H? Matt, he's lost two of the last three starts. A little bit of an inconsistent struggle, and hopefully this outing is a chance to turn it all around and start it in another direction. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. He is, of course, a guy to be wary of if he gets on base. A stolen base total leads the ball club. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. Here he comes on a ball and two strikes. And a leaping effort, but it's off his glove. And he'll reach first as they can't make the play on him. I don't care how hard you're throwing, you get that ball down there, he just dropped the barrel and it jumped off the bat. Nice hitting on a tough pitch. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. He carries a batting line in the 280s to begin this one. A runner at first with no outs here. High in the air out to center field. Peterson has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. And he will scurry back to first as he'll think twice about trying to move up. With a moment here in Flushing Meadows, let's meet the Mets. Dan Fleesack, who are you focused on? Well, Matt, I can't wait to see if La Potencia, Yoana Cespedes, can keep it going. Looking at the stats, man, I'm impressed. He's in the top five home runs in the National League coming in. When you're doing that, you're catching just about everyone's attention. Don't be surprised if he doesn't make something happen here today. One and one, here it is. In the dirt here, runner holds as the count moves to two and one. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes in this one, Mr. James Kingsley. Yeah, James Kingsley, solid umpire and pretty universally appreciated around the game. Basically, he's not a guy you're ever dreading to see behind the plate. And he'll be back in standing up. Set to deliver on two and one. And there goes Reyes. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Ethier on the run. And he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Batting fourth. Here's the left fielder, Yoenis Cespedes. He's not among the league leaders in home runs, but his total does top this ball club. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Harold, you look at this Dodgers team as they enter play here tonight. They've been playing better than 500 baseball of late, 5 and 3 in their last eight games. Well, they won their game last night. I think that's a big sign. They're starting to play good baseball. I talked to the manager. He loves how they compete. Two out with the man at first. Dribbled back toward the mound. Throw on to the first baseman. Gonzalez will take care of him, and the inning is over. Mets leave one, and this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Here's Adrian now. He comes in currently second on the team in home runs. Here's the 3-0. A high fastball is in there. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. Looking up is Granderson. Gone to lead off the inning.
solo shot to right center. Number 22 on the year. And the Dodgers strike first, one to nothing. When that pitch was grooved right down Main Street, he couldn't believe it. He started salivating when he saw it, but stayed back enough to put a great swing on it. Standing in now, Yosmani Grandal. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Conforto going back on it. Gone into the upper tank. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 13 for him on the year. And the Dodgers move in front now two to nothing. to start the inning talk about putting a pitcher on notice on the mound you almost have to completely forget about those and try to convince yourself you're starting the inning over fresh no one on no one out standing in Logan Forsythe and this is a good looking matchup for him here as you can see he's hit lefties quite a bit better than he has right handers this season no outs nobody on shoots this one over to first and he'll step on first himself for the out. All right, time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Mets. Andre. In this day and age, when teams are moving all over the place playing the ship, these guys are old school, very traditional. You don't see the ship applied very often in this club. So striding in, Andre Ethier. He's hitting just above the banner 300 mark on the season coming into this one. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. So stepping in, Julio Arias, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Sent on the ground out to second. And the pitcher's got himself a base hit. So with two out here, Yasiel Puig gets a chance to bat this inning. That is a big hit right there. When you can help yourself out, a little two-out base hit, extends the inning, brings the top of the order up now. Into the box now, Yasiel Puig. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. Oh, that grounder caught him. Digging in for his second at bat, Jock Peterson. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. Looking to minimize the damage here. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And this is fouled at the plate. Two men are on with two men out. Swing and a drive to right. There it goes. And that ball will stay fair, and it's gone. A home run. Three run home run down the line and right and even 20 home runs for him now thus far and with it the Dodgers have opened it up to a five nothing lead. Well when a manager talks about hitting being contagious that is exactly what we're talking about. One guy tees off and the guy behind him starts to feel a little bit more confident a little bit more focused. The next thing you know, you've got three home runs in an inning, and your entire offense is off and running. In now, Corey Seager. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take, 
is a great example. Well, he fouled that breaking ball off a little bit early. Timing not quite there. It had a fastball to pitch before. He just got out in front of that breaking ball. Well, that's back-to-back -back breaking balls. He's able to foul that one off. Will they come back with a third? And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes two to three for good measure as the inning is over. So a very good outburst here as five runs come across and allow them to take the lead. On now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers five and the Mets nothing. In now, Curtis Granderson. He's currently tied for second place on the team in home runs. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Takes a look at a fastball down the middle for strike number two. Granderson waits on the one two. Just short hit hard. And he's retired here one away. All right time for the majestic defensive alignment for the Dodgers. And I'm looking at Jock Peterson out there roaming the outfield. I love how aggressive he is and we've talked about that with different players but he is not afraid to leave his feet and take that gamble. Now batting Jay Bruce he comes in with 16 home runs on the season so far. And he takes a cold strike too. This guy's got a tremendous curveball. He just froze the hitter right there. Did you see that. And there's a swing and a miss by Bruce as he sat down on strikes two away. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strike out there. Yeah Matt that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect and when they're in that mode getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. Into the box Wilmer Flores. Swing and there it goes deep to left no chance at bringing this one back and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. A solo shot here to left fourth home run for him on the season as they get on the scoreboard here it's five to one. Yeah, they're still down a few, but a solo shot will make them feel a lot better about themselves. They're not being shut out, and now they know they can get to this guy. Standing in now, Rene Rivera. In there, and it's even now, two and two. All even at two and two, here it is. Swinging a soft liner, but an easy play over at third, and that'll be that. Mets do get one back, though, on the solo home run. We play two. It's now a 5 1 ball game. Stepping up to the plate, Justin Turner. 0 for 1 here in the early going. The 1 1 pitch. Chopped weakly to the left. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Now batting number 23. First base so the bases are empty with one man gone. And now the left handed hitting Adrian Gonzalez will get a shot. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Another payoff pitch. Chop fouled over towards the coaching box. The 3 2 one more time. Another one sent foul. Making him work out there. The ninth pitch of the at bat coming up. Another foul ball, and this battle will continue. That's four foul balls in a row. He's battling, no doubt. The next 3 2. 
neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue this is turning into quite an at bat that's five foul balls he's seen a lot of pitches hit out towards second Flores has it throw right there and that takes care of Gonzalez two gone down the catcher number nine here's the catcher Yasmani Grandal and he's off to a hot start in this one homered his first time around ready with the one one pitch and this ball runs away for ball two two and one the two and one on its way hit hard on the ground to second Flores is there throw in time and the side is retired so a good bounce back inning here after the five run outburst last time around we'll head now to the home half of inning number three it's the Dodgers five and the Mets one. Stepping in, Seth Lugo. He'll match up with Julio Urias to lead off the inning. Hey. In there at the letters, one and two now. One and two. One and two, here it comes. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. Man, I love watching a pitcher that just rears back and blows smoke by a guy at the letters. That's the ultimate challenge pitch. And for me personally, watching hitters swing and miss, man, that's a sight of beauty. Into the box now, Jose Reyes. Fastball called strike, one and two. Bases are empty, one man out. To two there balls and two strikes now. Hit to third. Gloved by Turner. In time to first, and there are two away. A third baseman, number five. Ready for another chance? David, David Wright. Oh, for one for him here in this one. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Yeah. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. The 1 and 2 pitch. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. All even at 2 and 2. Here it is. And that'll get down for a two out single. So a nice job there by the two hole hitter to extend the inning for the middle of the order. That's the seventh game he's hit in. Right Look Number out. 30. Seven games. That's one Michael week of feeling pretty Michael. good. Let's see how long he can make this last. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Michael Conforto. He flew out in his last at bat. A runner on first with two away. Mind to the right side and that'll get down for a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. That's what happens when you put the ball in play. Three two count and start 52. the runner puts the ball in play. Yeah, now you're sitting first and third. Love it. In now, Joanna Cespedes, and he puts it on the ground to second. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Two left for the Mets. They're down here five to one. Coming to the plate now, Logan Forsythe. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Set to deliver on nothing in two. Here it comes. A little bouncer. Whoa, he tried to get a little cute right there, a little two-strike changeup. He thought he might get a swing and miss, but man, he left that in the zone. He's fortunate that ball didn't leave the park. Bruce scoops it up, and he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next for the Dodger, left fielder. At the plate is Andre, Andre Ethier. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. 5-1 our score as we play the fourth here. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. 
This is driven to right, and no doubt about it, that one's way out of here. Out of here. A solo shot, and they add another. A solo home run for Andre Ethier. Eighth home run on the season for him, and it's now a six to one ball game. That home run is definitely worth giving the show track treatment to. And as we look at it, not only an impressive distance shot, but the 110 miles an hour exit velocity is nothing to scoff at either. That's a big boy home run. Into the box, Julio Arias. And this is fouled back and out of play. Six runs, eight hits. No errors for the Dodgers thus far. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. Digging in to try it again. Yasiel Puig, one for two on his line so far in the game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. And that one stayed too low, apparently. He's certainly giving up plenty of hits in this one, but the funny thing is he hasn't walked anyone yet. That tells me he's throwing strikes. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. One for the Dodgers on the Andre Ethier solo shot. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's the Dodgers six and the Mets one. Here's the center fielder Curtis Granderson. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. A one and one count. Here's the pitch. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. First well, I think he got away 19. with one right there. It was a Shane. fastball right down the Ooh. middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. One run, four hits. And no errors on the Mets line score so far. In for a strike, and he jumps ahead one and two now. That misses, and we're even at two and two. Wow, that was a close pitch on one and two. The count's now at two and two, but, boy, that one very easily could have been called strike three. Really close pitch. Skied into straightaway right. There to make the play is Puig for route number two. The batter, number four, second baseman, Wilmer Flores. Riding in once again, Wilmer Flores. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. Even at a ball and a strike, here's the pitch. Outside, two and one. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. Hit back up the middle. A dive, but he can't knock it down. It's through for a base hit. A lot of base hits up the middle. Set your sights up the alleys and try to take it back now up the middle it. hard like you did right here. Nice job. Two out with the man at first. Stepping in now, Rene Rivera. Ching and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Mets strand one. They trail six to one. Here's Jock Peterson now. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. He's set, and the payoff pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. The batter, number hey, five. anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now, Corey Seager. And he puts it on the ground to second. Taken in by Flores on to first, and there were two down. 
Digging in once again, Justin Turner. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Here it comes on 1 and 1. Back up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. So Adrian Gonzalez will get a chance to bat here following the two out base hit. Here's Adrian now. He comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. A runner on first with two away. And this is fouled back and out of play. Hit softly on the ground to first. Scooped up, and he will apply the tag himself, and the inning is over. Dodgers leave one. They hold on to their 6-1 to one lead. T.J. Rivera will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number 54, T.J. Rivera. And that pitch comes over to catch the corner. It's two and two now. Ready on two balls and two strikes. Here it comes. A swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. All even at two and two. Here it is. Hit on the ground out to short. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. And they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. Well, nothing earth shattering about this one. He just didn't finish the play and watch it into his glove. And now they've got the leadoff runner board and no outs. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Reyes. A hit in two tries so far. Two and one now to Reyes. Strike two at a pitch that catches the outside corner. Nobody out, runner on first. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. We still might be looking for that release point on that curveball early in this outing. That one looked like it popped out of his hand behind his ear instead of out front. We'll see if he finds that pitch because it'll be important for him. Drilled to the right side. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, this is how rallies start. You get one man on, then you get the base hit. Look, it's still early. I know they're down by a lot, but man, this is how little things add up. They need to score this inning and then from there continue to add on. In now, David Wright. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. And nope, this one falls, so he'll get another shot. Now another one, two. Fastball stays way up that time for ball two. Fly ball to straightaway left. Ethier's there. And that's the first out of the inning. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. The right fielder, number 30. Michael Digging in and looking for more, Michael Conforto. He's one for two in the ball game. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Takes a look at a strike over the inside corner. Snuck that high hard one by him without a swing, but that's a pitch and location he can do a lot of damage with. Got to be careful doing that. Lined foul right over the Mets dugout. Runners are at first and second with one away. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. A lot of times you see guys in the middle of the order get worked away, but not right here. They're keeping it inside on him. 
Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. Swing and there it goes. He got all of that ball into the Big Apple seats and gone. So a three run shot to right center field number 14 on the season and they cut the gap here it's now six to four. Yeah and that's what you call a dream scenario or an absolute nightmare depending on your viewpoint a power pitcher on the bump and a power hitter at the plate. A plus B equals see you later. It's simple math, folks. Some action in the Dodger bullpen now as it appears they have both the lefty and a right-hander up and throwing. Into the box, Yoannis Cespedes. And this one runs a little too far in, ball two. Two and one now to Cespedes. He's fallen behind now, three and one. 3-1 count to this guy. You don't want to challenge him right here. Don't give him anything to hit. No, no, no. Keep it on the corner. And that is in there at the letters to run it full three and two. Very weakly on the ground. Throw on to Gonzalez and that's out number two. Center fielder, number three, Curtis. It is Curtis Granderson. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. Here's the 1 and 1 pitch. And he misses 2 and 1. I'm sure he's frustrated by that call. Probably could have been a strike, but at the same time, Earning strikes from the umpire is a real thing. If you've been all over the place like he has, you're just not going to get much help from the umpires. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. In there on the inside corner. Don't know that he liked it, but it's a full count now. Three and two. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Forsyth is there. Throw will go to Adrian at first, and with it, the side is retired. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on MLB Network after this. Rafael Montero takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 50, Rafael Montero. Yosmani Grandal will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at a solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. High and deep to left. This one's got plenty of distance. Gone to lead off the inning. A solo shot here to left. His second home run of the game. And it's now seven to four. Well, when it left its bat, I didn't think it had the height to even clear the fence. Shows you how much I know. That thing was a laser shot that just kept going and going and going. Wow, that was impressive. Stepping in now, Logan Forsythe. He swings and grounds it to short. And this will get on through past Reyes for a base hit. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Andre Ethier comes in one for two with that home run he hit earlier. And this is sent out to Reyes. This could be two. There's one. Back to first, and they're able to double up Ethier. 
Hey, it doesn't come much easier than that. Taylor made 6-4-3 double play and an easy one to turn. Digging in once again, Julio Arias. One for two on his line so far in the game. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hit in the air to center field. Branderson is under it. And that retires the side. But the Dodgers add on courtesy of this solo home run. On to the bottom of the sixth. It's the Dodgers seven and the Mets four. Yimmy Garcia enters to do the pitching in the bottom of the sixth. Number 63, Yimmy Garcia. Here's Jay Bruce now. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout in this one. Here's the 1 1. A fastball that just misses inside. That pitch right there, he's trying to keep him from getting his arms extended. If it's out over the plate more, he can obviously do a lot of damage with it. Down the first baseline. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Hey, that pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. And that one misses, so the leadoff man will head down to first on ball four to start the bottom of the sixth. And well, that's what you want four, from your leadoff hitter. Baseman, Shows some great Wilmer, patience and discipline, making the pitcher labor to start the game. The result is a leadoff walk and a chance to make some early noise. Digging in and looking for more, Wilmer Flores. He's off to a fast start in this one, two for two, including a home run. Now the Dodgers get a right-hander up and throwing in their bullpen. He's ready. Now the payoff pitch. Hits this one hard the other way. And he can't come up with it cleanly here in right. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Well, the hit and run was on right there. And the runner no, running to second Rivera. base on the steal. I thought he might go to third base. The ball ended up in the outfield. I guess he didn't feel comfortable. That's why he pulled up. Into the box now. Rene Rivera inside for a ball as he falls behind to him here three and one well he's behind in the count now and he's probably going to have to turn to something hard and straight right here good lead off a second there now the pitch and oh that should have been ball four there but it's a called strike and that runs things full at three and two now a swing and a fly ball and this had home run distance but it just does hook foul Another full count pitch home. Grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Here's the payoff pitch. Swing and a missed strike three. The throw. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. So the decision to run that time pays off as now following the strikeout. Two men are in scoring position with just the one out. And Dribble Cabrera will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 13 has Dribble Cabrera. Second and third here, one man out. And he lays off, ball four. So he comes right off the bench and works the walk. Usually easier said than done. The shortstop, number seven. Jose Stepping Reyes. in and ready for another shot, Jose Reyes. He's two for three thus far. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. And the changeup is way low that time. Well, when the pressure starts to intensify, it often feels like the strike zone gets harder and harder to hit. This is a big spot here. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Three one count first and second. A lot of things can be happening here. I wonder if the runners start, but more importantly, get a pitch you can drive. And it's full now, three and two. 
He's set. Here's the three and two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Into the upper deck, but foul. Well, he fouls off that fastball right there, and you wonder, does he love his fastball enough to come back with it three times in a row? And this one's chopped foul right at home plate. That's lifted the other way out to left. Ethier's there. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. On Ethier's throw is right there. He's out at the plate. A couple of walks, but no damage. More in a moment on this Friday night. You're watching MLB Network. Welcome back to City Field in Flushing. The men in blue leading in this one as we get set to begin the seventh. But before we do, let's check out the game summary to this point. Fernando Salas is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Fernando Salas. Digging in to try it again. Yasiel Puig. Lifetime against this particular arm. Just a couple of matchups, no hits in two at bats. Fastball in there, three and two. Now the pitch. Seared down the first baseline. And a reach to his backhand, but he can't come up with it. And the leadoff man's aboard. And he's going to get to second now with nobody out. And he obviously didn't let last night's hitless outing get to his head too much because that's his second hit of the ball game. This one a double. I'm sure he's feeling a lot better about the way he's going right now. Here's Jock Peterson now. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. Has a look, now the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first, in time, one away. Here's Corey Seeger. He was a ground down victim last time up. A man at third with one away. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Granderson. But he won't get it. And now it jumps the wall for a ground rule double. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up at second. He drove that ball really nicely. Standing in now, Justin Turner. And strike three called on the outside corner. He's earned the right to live out there with the fastballs as that's out number two. Well, no preferential treatment there. Sometimes we see great hitters have their calls go their way on close pitches, but not this time. I think that was actually a good take, but on two strikes, anything that close can go either way. Into the box, Adrian Gonzalez. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul. So a missed opportunity there. A payoff pitch one more time. And another foul ball. The next 3 2. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Dodgers get one in the inning on the RBI double. Bottom of the seventh inning coming up. Get up and stretch. It's the Dodgers eight and the Mets four. Adam Liberator gets the call from now the pen to the take Dodgers. over on the mound and start Number the home seventh. Adam Liberator. Here's the third baseman, David Wright. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. set and the 1 1 pitch called strike over the outside corner looking for the strikeout here's the 1 2 grounded back up the middle and Wright's going to have himself a base hit so with that the Mets have a runner aboard to get the inning underway 
Well, they've hung around. I know it's late in the game, but that's a big leadoff single. Maybe this will be what they need to get to start that attack to put them ahead. Ready for another shot now. Michael Conforto. So far, two for three in this one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Hey, I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. Might have been sitting on an off-speed pitch, but instead he gets the fastball way late. Had no chance to put that ball in play. In now, Joanna Cespedes takes a look at a change up there, and it's a ball and two strikes now. One and two, here it comes. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Look out for the double play. A ball and two strikes, here it is. Grounder down the line at third. Played on the backhand to second, but they throw it away. Well, definitely Number should three. have been a two ball there, but you've got to get one first. Got under the feed to second and just sailed it. Could be a costly mistake. Into the box now. Curtis Granderson. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. That is power versus power. Here it is. Here's my best fastball. I'm going to get it up in the zone. I dare you to hit it. Come on, man. And Let's the fastball two two. easy to lay off that time. Two and two. I like that they went away with that pitch right there. They really tried to tie him up on that previous pitch. So he was probably what we call inside conscious. He didn't get a strike there, but I'm guessing he was looking for another ball in. And Granderson swings and misses that time as he's down on strikes for route number two. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Here's Jay Bruce now. And with men on base and two away, it feels like this at bat could go a long way toward deciding this thing. No doubt, Matt. A base hit here changes this game quite a bit. But if they can't score here, it looks pretty bleak for them heading into the last couple of innings. Two down, runners at first and second. Now a slider misses, and that pushes the count to three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a three-one count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Just a bit jumpy that time. Swung on and missed. With runners on base, two outs, and two strikes, this is a big next pitch for both sides. And he'll just get a piece here as this is chopped foul at home plate. Again, he sends it out of play. Check his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire, so it's ball four. Sergio Romo takes the mound now, and it appears he's being brought in to face the right-handed batter who waits next. Yeah, you usually don't hear the term righty specialist very often, but that's kind of how they're using him here, Matt. Most hitters have a harder time against pitchers of the same handedness, so we'll see if this move pans out. Two out, bases loaded. Hit the target, but this is low, two and one. Well, right here, he's definitely worked himself into a very difficult situation. He's got the power hitter at the plate, and you got two balls. He's sitting there looking for his pitch to hit. You know he's zeroing in. He's set, and the two-one pitch. 
takes a knee high fastball good pitch right there from the reliever tough for hitters to do much with pitches in that location unless they're looking for it all even at two and two here it is skied into very shallow right Puig's got a read on it makes the catch and that'll retire the side Mets leave them loaded they're unable to make a dent in an 8 4 deficit Yosemite Grandal will stride in again and before he takes his cuts here we take you back to inning number six this was his second home run of the ball game as he'll stand in here looking for number three and he's keeping it down here and that's a cold strike two. the one two pitch smoke toward third backhanded throw on to first in time so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight a look at our line score thus far already seven home runs between these two clubs combined and the ball's really been jumping out of here throughout the contest ready once again Logan Forsythe in his career against this pitcher just a couple of matchups no hits in two at bats the two and one on its way a swing and a drive to center field that one's got a chance Granderson going back on it he gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning now batting and the plate is Andre Ethier he's working on a one for three thus far ready with the one and one now a foul tip that's held onto with the plate and the count moves to one and two now got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there that was a really nice pitch and it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter and now a pitch on the way swing and oh my hit him with the high and that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. Solo shot to right center his second of the game as this is now a five run cushion. It's getting pretty comical now their sixth home run of the game and they're not done yet. They say hitting is contagious and apparently that applies to the long ball. It's looking like batting practice out there. Chase Sudley will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Pitcher Romo, number 26, Chase Utley. Laid off as it caught the inside corner. He's set. Here's the 3 1. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. Popped him up over to the left but playable over in foul ground and Wright will make the catch to retire the side one for the Dodgers on the solo home run on now to the bottom of inning number eight it's the Dodgers nine and the Mets four number 46 takes the mound as he's been called upon to pitch number 46 Ready for another chance? Rene Rivera, 0 for 3 with a couple of strikeouts for him to this point in the ballgame. Two balls and a strike. Here it comes. A good knee high changeup taken for a strike. Two balls, two strikes, a crucial count for both pitcher and hitter. So, Dan, what was your approach on the mound in that count? Do you still pitch for the strikeout here? I think one of the keys, Matt, you yeah. want to try to initiate contact. The one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to run the count to three balls and two strikes. Whatever you now want to throw, throw it over it. for a strike. What's right, your take on all the strikeouts we see in the game please. today, Dan? That was his pitch third tonight, and it seems us. we're seeing that a Number lot one. more these days. One. Yeah, Matt, there's been a real change in philosophy as far as hitting in baseball today. A lot of guys think now that an out is an out, a strikeout is 
just as good as a regular out but we're seeing strikeouts at an alarming rate in baseball right now but right to the second baseman and that's the second out the shortstop number here's seven. the shortstop now Jose, Jose Reyes. Reyes two away here in the eighth and time's running out on him Danny yeah they don't have a lot of outs left to work with so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing and now some action in that Dodger bullpen as a left hander has begun to get loose towards second and eight innings have come and gone now as the inning is over Mets go down one two three they trail it here nine to four back in Queens at City Field as we get set for the top of the ninth inning in this one Josh Edgen enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. And now is Yasiel Puig. He's doubled and singled in four at bats in this contest. Called strike and he's behind one and two. Here's the one and two delivery. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Another one two delivery. And there's a pitch that just misses the inside corner. He's set. Here's the two two. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. Digging in. John Peterson. He went deep earlier and he's two for four to this point. One out, nobody on. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Line drive to center field. Granderson is there now and he has it, two gone. He got that one pretty good. It just didn't have the right launch angle to carry over the outfielder's head. Small difference where the ball hit the bat could have made all the difference. Stepping in now, Corey Seeger. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. He's ready with the two two pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. Hey, there's strike three. So we'll see now if they can manage to hold on to this huge lead as the side is retired. One, two, three go the Dodgers. They're on top, however, nine to four. Riding in once again, David Wright. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Now that's a good changeup right there. You know the guy's sitting fastball. You get him out in front. Now that changeup's in his head, the rest of the at-bat. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. And he's going to make it. He's in at second base with a leadoff double. Left fielder really never had a chance at that one at all. It was over his head before he knew it, bouncing off the base of the wall for an easy double. Those are the kind of shots anyone would feel good about. Into the box, Michael Conforto. And this one's in the dirt. Good job there as the count goes to one and two. Ready on one and two. In the dirt, and now let's see. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. That can be a tough read as a runner on second to see if the ball has gotten away enough to move to third. You have to be sure you can make it. He was there, and now he's only 90 feet away. Come on, guys, let's go. 
All even at two and two. Here it is. And this is swung on and missed. And boy, they took care of a key man there. One away. Well, we'll see a lot of these power well, arms coming out of the bullpen in these days. Yo, but it doesn't make it any less impressive to me. I love watching guys come in and blow smoke right by guys. In now, Yoannis Cespedes. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to one and two now. Let's go, wait for the pitch. He's set, and the one-two pitch. And a neck-high fastball that time. Boy, that's a tempting pitch right there. You got that runner on third base. You're looking for something to drive. You want the ball up. But it was a good layoff. Not the pitch he definitely wanted to hit, but it was tempting, no doubt. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Catch made in center. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Number three. Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. Bases empty and two gone following the sacrifice fly. The two and one on its way. Fouled straight back. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Good job to spoil that one away, and he stays alive. Well, he's out in front of that breaking ball right there. Not surprised. I was after that fastball. Nice job of pitching, kind of keeping him off balance. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, maybe a little bit of a problem is that they had to wind up going to that bullpen quite a bit. Five pitchers are going to combine to finish this one to get the win. This one comes to a close with a 9-5 final. The Dodgers hit six home runs as a team on the way to a win. Julio Arias with his fourth win this season. Seth Lugo permitted six earned runs to come across in the losing effort. So that just about does it for Harold Reynolds, the lefty Dan Plezak, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. Here now is our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Dodgers. Nine runs, 14 hits, two errors. They left four runners on base. Here's the 0-1. Story hits it high and deep right field. Way back and gone! Three-run bomb. Welcome to the big leagues, Trevor Story. How do you like that? I've got goosebumps. Me too. Not gonna lie. Me too. Mom and dad are jumping.